He does not need any introduction. And his association with HSNC University itself is a branding status for the university. I request Honorable Provost to deliver his address. A very good afternoon to each and every one of you, the members of the academic board. It's my proud privilege and uh, feel great and wonderful to actually be able to address each and every one in a very formal manner. I also uh, am very, very grateful to all the other members who have actually joined us. Uh, Mr. Pratap Indlani, Mr. Prashant Naya, I can see Mr. Justin, Mr. Uh, Vandar Nagarwal, Mr. Prashant, I can't uh, see one of the names, all the members, uh, my beloved uh, vice chancellor, my deans, uh, principals, other members of the academic board, most welcome uh, to this academic board first meeting. Uh, we all had dreams and this is one of those dreams come true. Uh, the journey of this dream started in April of 2018 when Rusa sent this suggestion. And uh, this, of course, has been an idea and thought that we needed to get something extraordinary done. The base of our, all our institutions is the parent body, which was established after independence by Principal Kundani, the founder father of our institution, Vidya Sagar, our principal K.M. Kutnani was uh, actually a person who devoted his entire life into this and do it. Today, when we take up this journey, we are now on a new path. The path which he laid set the foundation to the, uh, to the colleges and has brought great merit into these institutions. A minority status is which, which we have and the privileges that we have in terms of the minority status but we, our reach has been to every community. All community people are part of our fraternity, both in terms of the uh, heading of the institutions or in terms of the teachers or in terms of the students. All this has been taking care of every sector of the society. However, today I must congratulate our three colleges, uh, the HR, KC and BTTC colleges, for the excellent work and score that they have done in the past, which actually made us eligible for this particular cluster university. And I must say that these three colleges have always worked as a team. And I think I really significantly want to congratulate all the three colleges for the teamwork that has been done. And I think it is extremely significant that the base of the university has been the three colleges which have actually created. You first submitted the DPR to RUSA and all this has been done. Nothing would have happened but for the secretary of the board who has put in immense mental, physical and, and emotional uh, contribution to the board and has really taken a lot of efforts in order to get all the regulations into place, all the permissions into place, and the follow-up of each and every item as far as the creativity of the institution is concerned. We cannot but thank him tremendously for his role as secretary and now his appointment as the vice chancellor of this university, which is very well deserved, for especially in view of the contribution that he has done in terms of creation. The notification of our, our colleges has took place in the public domain as early as 30th October 2019, when rules and regulations, collaboration, establishment of schools, constitution of the governing council, faculty, board of deans, board of governance, academic board, fee structures, budgets, and other things were considered into the whole thing. All of you have been a party to all that creativity. However, we are privileged that even due to, to, in spite of the lockdown, the Honorable Governor of Maharashtra and the Honorable Chief Minister inaugurated our university on the 11th of June, 2020. This is indeed a significant time that they did it even in spite of the COVID lockdown, which took place 
I think that's a very significant important. You all are now sitting in the Burley building, which will be our headquarters or the main administrative office of the university and significantly there. Of course, our three colleges are also in the South Bombay area now, and we hope that with the expansion that we will take, we will be soon having more land, which will be attributable for the purposes of expansion of this university. We are working very hard to, in spite of the COVID times, to be able to procure it as early as possible. Today, we have the Faculty of Science and Technology. We have the Faculty of Humanities, the Faculty of Commerce and uh, Management. And I've been able to submit good curriculum modified by the Board of Studies also of a subject in the undergraduate and postgraduate programs. I think this is huge. More than 400 academicians, scientists, industry experts, alumni have been involved in this gigantic task. My heartiest congratulations to the entire team and the leadership that has gone into this place in order to achieve this objective. Really, I am proud of this whole team that has been done and the leadership which has been done. Also, I must thank especially the deans of the faculties which have been actually working round the clock in terms of getting all this done. In spite of all the lockdown, we were able to do admissions even on an online process, 100% on that and that itself is a significant issue that is there. Later on, we have also had the induction program, which has been organized, where we had 16 eminent speakers, experts from various domains. We have had all this, again, as I said, in spite of the lockdown. Continuous deliberations have now taken place on online platforms, assessment platforms, and the development of e-content. I think this is a unique experiment which each and every one of you have participated and done a wonderful job. We have not stopped on this at all. We have stretched our hands to a far distance places. And I must say that we have now today, the, the university can be proud to say that even in lockdown, we have had negotiations with other outsiders, and we have now got a letter of intent signed by Deakin University, a MOU with the Penn Hub, the Pennsylvania State University Group, which I believe has more than 250 colleges under it, the Kutztown University for Media, and also we had talks with various institutions within the Penn State University. Also, the Shippersburg University for student and faculty exchange and for working out joint program, interchange and exchange of teachers, professors, and students, and working of online certificate program. Huge job being undertaken simultaneously with the struggle that we have in terms of the regulatory work that we needed to complete in terms of the new university. We have also had three days of capacity building workshop for teachers have been organized. External academy and industrial experts, scientists, journalists, authors were invited to see these presentation by the board of studies chairperson and inputs of all this has been in, introduced. Great job, wonderful thing that has happened. I'm really proud of the whole situation. We've even done virtual laboratory sessions this is indeed very, very unique. We never thought that even laboratories could have virtual sessions. And the manual collaboration has been done with the Tadumal Shani Engineering College. So I'm really grateful to Principal Thampi for his inputs into that. The University School of Applied Sciences have been launched on 30th November. BSc in Data Scientists Sciences and business analytics have been started under the ages of the first University of Applied Sciences 
and induction program with industry experts are going on. We've also been doing the honors program and compulsory interdisciplinary programs are being offered to students and this too is in progress. I believe the vice chancellor has been taking tremendous amount of interest in order to see that these are inducted into our education system. The BSc program in yoga and bachelors in performing arts will hopefully kickstart very quickly. And also the idea of the school of liberal arts and the school of digital education will also be a part of our roadmap. The BTTC has really taken special interest in terms of innovation in teaching and learning pedagogies. I think this input will make a world of a difference because of the multiple direction in which pedagogies are taken. All the colleges, HR, KC, have been wonderful institutions of merit with honors that you have brought about in this city. So much honor that we are troubled during admission time. So I am really grateful to you for the kind of extraordinary work that your colleges have done. These have actually been trendsetters in city and jealousy to people who feel threatened and frightened of the kind of success that you and I are doing. We are not going to rest here because we have now embarked on a takeoff stage because the pedestal created by Principal Kundani and all the other trustees who have worked very hard, the teachers, principals, and other people. We are now on a takeoff stage. We will now bring about a new building, beginning in terms of education process. We want to scale up the numbers that we are teaching. Our concept is that we must reach far and wide. My president, Mr. Kishu Mansukani, has blessed me, has blessed the new university has given us an assurance that every step will be taken in order to reach targets that we have together made. One of the ambitious target announced by the president has been that we will increase the number of students in the process from 45,000 to 90,000. God bless him. It's a very ambitious target and I'm sure that you and I sitting together will work fast to achieve it. I've had a very good interaction with Mr. Ratan Tata, the erstwhile chairman of uh, Tata's group. And he has assured me that whatever support we need on the technology side, he will be able to do it. The board also has inducted a special person in order to take technology to the next level. We will definitely see to it because technology is going to be the new platform on which all the roadmaps will continue, whether it is in education or in any other field of endeavor, even in real estate, even in other sectors of society, technology will become a very big enabler. We have personally seen this experience that our connectivity between all the principals, the vice principals, the trustees, the president of our board, all connection has been maintained on a daily basis through the internet, through WhatsApp groups, through communication in terms of ideas and thoughts of programs, of presentations, which have been extraordinary and a lot of learning has taken place. You have been the leaders, my principals, who have really taken up the course where I got so much compliments wrongly because you people have done all the work for the online examinations that were conducted. Even Mumbai University talked to me personally and said that there was such good work done by various colleges of the board in order to conduct these examinations, which they felt was extremely difficult and challenging. So what is it that we are looking for? We are looking for in order to see that we will aspire to be the best in class. That's the first aspiration. So we should not get confused between the two aspiration models. The first aspiration models, my friend, is the aspiration to see that qualitatively we are the best. No compromise on that segment at all. We must be the best. 
we have to move towards to show that HR, KC, BTTC, HSNC University, and even the other board colleges aspire to be significant that in the next five years, 10 years, we will move up the value chain so that there are, we will compete among the top two or three institutions in India, if not the rest of the world. It will have to be in that direction. But we are a democratic country and we know there are so many poor people, helpless people, outreach people. And hence, we have decided that we will do an outreach center. And hence, we will also aspire to reach the masses. And when we say 45 to 90,000 people, we will see to it that people who do not have contact with us, whether it is through online, through adoption of various other schools and colleges, other methodologies that we will pass, we will certainly take this to the next level. All these aspirations are things that we will do in order to see that university moves to the left. So my friends, my vice chancellor, respected vice chancellor, I kudos to you for all the work that you have done, the leadership that you have shown, the deans that are there, other members of the teaching fraternity who are partners today in this, other members that you have inducted on the academic board, my dear friends, we will aspire to reach the moon. John Kennedy, I remember, had mentioned in one of his speeches, he said, because Russians had sent out the first Sputnik, he said, doesn't matter if Russia has sent the first Sputnik act. It doesn't matter if Ashoka and Jindal and other universities have taken off first, but we will be the first to land on the moon. And that is our aspiration model. So my friends, irrespective of what happens, we will have both the models, which is different from what most people want. They either want to aspire qualitatively, which we must, or quantitatively, which is reach and aspire the common man all over the country. I don't care if education is online, offline, interline, or any other line that is done. We must aspire to reach education. We must have continuous education. We must create and teach skills. We must be able to combine all these activities. We must resource industry. We must take help from the best in class from the rest of the world. We have now laid the foundation and for which I am blessed that the efforts made by you have made immense and extraordinary success. Will it be a difficult journey? Of course, any journey which is so ambitious is bound to be challenging, but we have to be ready for it. We will go for it. We will do it and all together we can. Remember, a person who had no nothing in his hand, left everything in Pakistan during partition, came and set it. You have so much. You have a big platform. You have a track record. You have assets. You have money. You have technology. You have everything in your hand. There is no reason why we cannot achieve these attributes to do it. It is only up to us to say, this is our target, this is our ambition, this is where we want to reach. Our government is on your side. All the members of government have promised me, whether it is the erstwhile chief minister, the erstwhile uh, education minister, Mr. Taude, the present uh, education minister, the present chief minister, the present uh, uh, in, uh, education secretary, the earlier education secretary, all of them are looking at you. Can we afford to ever fail? The answer is no, we must not fail. So we have to, even if we have problems, even if we have handicaps, even if we are going to fall several times, it's okay, but we have to get up again and take off to these new ambitious targets. I am certain that all of you are such capable people in the education field. You have a background of excellence. You have a background of commitment. You have a background of energy and you have a background of meeting aspirations which are second to none. God bless us. God bless all of us. 
God bless each and every one of you as that you keep good health, that you are happy, that we work hard together to meet the aspirations which are possible for us to do and impossible in the minds of other people that you could not do and we shall. So I'm really happy today to address this academic council. I really look forward to this new ambitious target. I must share with you that uh, last year when I became the president of uh, ASOCHAM, uh, the prime minister came for that function. I was pretty shocked because he had come to ASOCHAM, a prime minister had come to ASOCHAM after five years or six years or seven years. He came last year and this year they said that uh, not possible for him to come. Again, I have made a request to him last week and he has now agreed to come to ASOCHAM as a party gift to me, or I don't know what. And on the 19th of uh, December, an impossible matter to happen has become possible. He has come again, he's coming again in order to be at the parting uh, program, which I will be addressing on the 19th of December. So my friends, let's not talk about anything not possible or difficult. We can all do it together. And, and I have more confidence and I promise you, I would not waste either my time or your time if I thought you were not capable of doing it. I, I wouldn't have talked to you all this, what I'm telling you. So I'm sharing to you the mind hearts of the entire trustee group, my president of my parent body, myself as provost, all the other principals who have assured me of all the things and my vice chancellor, who is, of course, the champion of champions. So God bless all of you. And thank you very much. I may not be able to continue for a long time because I have other programs to address uh, in a few minutes, but I'll be there for a few minutes maybe, and then take off. But I'm sure that you will do a fantastic job as always. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir, for your very inspiring address as usual. And uh, we are confident that at university level, the wishes, desires, and vision of the provost should be culminated into a reality. My work has been made very simple by the honorable provost that I think almost 50% of the report has been covered by the Honorable Provost. The HSNCU owes its existence to the HSNC board, its founders, successors, and the current leadership of the HSNC board, who collectively decided to take steps for the establishment of the HSNC University the first cluster university of the country created by conversion of HR college, KC college and BTT college into a cluster. Hence, the HSNCB is rightly included in the notification of the HSNCU as sponsoring and parent body. Incidentally, today is very important